There we go. In the bottom right of Golden Aura, we have Classic. And in the top left, fresh back from the military, it is Trap. Playing first game here. Yeah, this is his first game after the military in a professional setup. It is in the top Korea. I think the first week of May, first cup of the May May Cups, uh, 2014 here. So let's see what state this man is in. If he can take out Classic, who has been a very stable, good Protoss player, but has been mostly competing in uh, Korean cups and tournaments online as well as offline. So you rarely see him when he uh, comes to travel. Somewhere else. It's over. You don't see him as much on the internet page. But yeah, I am as probably change soon because points are in a run here for a spot. The world championship as well. Been a very strong protos always and always kind of the 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 hope crusher for a lot of people. Whenever there was someone who Guys were rooting for like, okay, it's time that this guy is gonna L or something. Classic was there to stop them. In Sue, for example, I think he stopped Innovation once. Classic is a, an incredible player. He has a lot of championships. There we go. Okay, he, he killed, the, killed the probe. Oh yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was focusing my speech there. Not on the... Oh, purple cluster. And yes, I'm still in ground phases. We're getting there. Man. Oh. Finish the zealot. There's no pylon. This is a one gate, though, notably. Um, with star gate behind this. And there's a one gate expand. Okay, so this is... Interesting. There's no two gate. Ah, from none of the players. Okay. But we got earlier tech here from classic and a way earlier expansion from trap. So far, it's only sentries and there's an adept. On it. Sorry, a, a zealot and an adept. Field battery. So I think those sentries are going to be enough. We'll have a probe in position here, and there's going to be a third sentry actually. Okay. Very interesting. Does not know about this. Walled off. Field battery is not there yet. This one probe uh, finally will fall here. Unfortunate. Crap. And yeah, he's not going to lose anything. I, I mean, I'm not the probe, of course. Can he kill the zealot, though? Probably not. And then the, the attack looks cool, but. Do anything. Other than rip off shields. So he knows, hey, this you've got oracles. And timing wise he should know. Hmm. Should be already here. Okay, this is this is good. This is like the move to try to get him off the main base. And now the Oracle comes in. I'm gonna go into the main. There's no defense. Shield battery is not in play yet. There's no unit here. Been running the probes. If death also shades and chaos is breaking loose here. Rap is looking very bad. In game number one, ten probes. Oh my god, the Oracle has been doing wonders. A miracle worker here. 11 probes to fall. Faster Nexus. Does not matter anymore. No, it doesn't. We are 5 probes in the lead here. Or classic. And the second swoop is gonna come in here in a second. He has one stalker, but is already moving out of position again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five or six? No. I'm gonna stay at five, but my god, that's just too much damage. And this classic is just hey, let's brigade, let's get blink, get a dark shrine. Okay, there's no detection. He knows this. There's no robot. There's no money for a robot. This is the winning the neck crusher, isn't like The winning move here. Him. Potentially setting himself up to just bait win uh, the game. Yeah, we have to keep an eye if um, we're gonna find 
Like, first of all, if this is gonna get scouted, and it is scouted, and uh, when the action is gonna start here, there we go, Robo is on the way. I mean, this being proxied would have been basically the best move, kind of. And then getting a couple more probes. Yeah, he's so far ahead. Well, the observer should just be in time. The build time, building time, has been reduced in the recent match. So, uh, yeah, the, the uh, observer basically coming out here. Should be with a slow warp in if the DTs warp in here or walk across the map. It should be fine. Or just in time. Wow, he gets an oracle. I was not expecting this one. That was a mess up here. Next is going down. There we go. D Sorry, Stalkers and 1DT. And the Observer is not going to be built. Did he not notice? I mean, he has the Robo at least. So, yeah. He can Chrono Boost. And Chrono Boost. Oh. the trap? Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Okay, kind of force field, and that's not. Mm. There we go. Okay, so he loses another four probes. It's not too terrible, but he's completely out of position to defend this base. Maybe, maybe he can come back. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's gonna pull back. doesn't see it oh my god and there we go four are stasis and you should just kill the rest now classic gonna come in he's gonna lose the oracle the blink now gonna get the immortal he could get the uh, observer which is the only observer and then he could get uh, some more he warp in here. but it could run out yeah revelation did just run out and he's not gonna be able to Clear the complete army. Here. But I mean, classic behind this is even looking great, even though he's been losing the fight fight here right now. Look at this, the third base, and look at this, this is the other third base. So that's the big difference you can see here. Of course, the transition is coming online faster. Extra gates. We're gonna see probably some charge here soon. There we go. It's halfway done. Get Chrono out as well, and then there should be archives. It's gonna be a robotics actually first. Forge. And we're just gonna go Stalker Zealot, which has been very popular actually. A gate here to speed up those warp ins. Entry, I think. For guardianship, maybe? Maybe he doesn't even wanna see. I'm trying to get the four Stalker run by here, trap that is. Kind of went through dark areas here. I'm gonna find some damage, but at what cost? Completely out of position, you were focusing so much on those four stalkers, you didn't notice these uh, 17 walking into your main base here. There we go. Nice force shields. One gate unpowered. He also. Did he lose those stalkers? I'm pretty sure. Gonna check on the uh, recall. Okay, so the recall was you. You got a couple of them out. Also check the kill counts here. One kill. They're moving. So one was killed. Three got out. It's only see one kill. One of those zealots. Good so far. So. And he's caught up. But not in upgrades, not in production. And not in composition. One immortal here. Only a force field, no guardian shield. The pylon was sniped, the battery is not working anymore. And Zealots, they're coming in now. Coming back here. And Classic is struggling to close out the game. As he's been hitting before his plus one and weapons is actually done. So he's fighting at the same upgrades right now. That's not a good position. Oh, he's gonna get the immortal. 
No. After he pulls back, all of his investments kind of start to pay off. And uh, now he needs to wait for another reinforcement round here. Be able to go in and fight again. Oh, Prism here. Trap is not giving up here, and uh, he has been kind of defending okay -ish. The army fights have been really good for By the way, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the content if you like it, and uh, thanks. Thanks for the support, always appreciate it. Alright, and finally we've got some ETs here on our own, coming in actually ravaging the bases of classic. Very well done, three DTs and three locations here, completely taking off the pressure from your back here. Very well done by Trap, killing 19 probes, completely resetting the probe count here for his opponent, but he does not know about the gold. He does not know about it, and this is a crucial key point. If he cannot kill the gold base from his opponent, then he, or find it even. Oh, there we go, the DT. X by A, that's even the perfect unit, he can just start killing probes. Very nice. And now he's he's been looking good. He has his plus one also done. He has basically the same comp composition, although he has archons. And um, classic never really bothered to make any archons here. So oh, getting the war prism as well could be really nice. There we go. Snipe on that one. Well, done. We've got a DT in the mix, but there is observers here. Probes are starting to fall as well. The army finally coming back here, but charge shots are completely stuck here behind all of these stalkers, not doing anything. And there are two Archons though. Maybe you want to have them stuck until you finish off those Archons first. Finally, the, the Zealots are joining the fray to fight, but hey, those stalkers, man, they're already so bruised. Got a couple TTs here. There is no observers. And Trap may be just taking the first map over Classic here, man, that's insane. And he was behind almost all the time, and then Classic Trap is like, yeah, I can just do better fights than you. How to execute. That's fine. And then he just grabs the win, grabs the Man, Trap, forced to be reckoned with. One of the best pros in the world. Right. Alright, next map is going to be Ocean. Go into game, bottom right of Ocean Born. Comeback happen now. Classic. Left, it is one of our best players world have ever seen over the period of StarCraft 2. It is crap. Just back from the military and uh, already defending his title as one of the best protos in the world, maybe. <laughs> he was looking a little bit like brittle in the early, game, uh, early stages of the game, but his transitions were on point, his macro was on point, and he never really died outright. So, in the end, he managed to come back, completely overwhelm classic with these 3 DTs. Killing like 20 probes and then the follow-up attack basically with the Archons. And the same tech but better with the Archon. Completely demolishing class. That trap actually very good. He needs to kind of straighten out his early game teams. Early and early game. Game, mid, mid to late game, he, he's been looking good. And this time we're gonna see a double gate opening classic, and this is gonna be a core one opening nexus. Or core even. That's a very early nexus trap. This is very greedy. Yeah, there we go. Classic, I'm pretty sure he hasn't scouted. This is the furthest in any of the. But. 
He's basically already kind of blind countering this. Making two gates here. He could go even four gate. He could just go three, three gate with a blink. Or he can just go robo. Two gate robo or three gate robo are the possible. So far it's going to be looking like a two gate robo. So this could have a nexus behind it. But yeah, he's going to be happy what he's in now. Very early next. Hey, this is only one gate. Hey, this is star gate though. So let's see what this is. One more gateway or is it... Nothing. Of course, with one more gateway you can make more stalkers. Basically, fight better against the star gate unit. Void rays. There needs to be shield batteries here. Like, already now. You have 200 minerals. Those 200 minerals need... They already they are too late, it feels like. Because the war prism is almost already you need like one more. And one And there's no pile on them. I'm gonna go for Voidray first, so he knows he needs to defend. Of course he's seeing the double gate open. You're gonna be aggressive, seems like. He does not know about the proxy. It's kind of weird though, it's not as committed and Classic is kind of afraid it seems here from an oracle, but yeah, there we go, gateway. Pylon. Go for a nexus. And this water is just gonna fight the war prism? Oh my god. If you can get this prism, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, boy. Damn. So good, but the depths are in. I find a ton of probes. Ah, oh, the answer seems yes, they're getting some good quality damage here. Five probes, or maybe even six probes here for two adapts is good, but you also lost. Okay. You also lost the prism. Need to remember them. Gotta be one more prism. No immortals. Very interesting. And of course, the three gate stalkers here. Seven probe. Another probe did fall here. Out of this. Stalker, stalker, stalker. There's no blink, of course. Highlight. Gonna be blank. Vanilla stalkers here. One adept in one sentry. Try and overwhelm. Crap. Okay, if you can catch this uh, void ray, one single void ray. Be huge. Trap is gonna see this. Trap is gonna see this. Trap is gonna not engage this. Classic is very, very careful here to overcome. Main only dropping two. I'm gonna pull back for now. But he needs to make something happen. There's 26 workers against 22. Yeah, the lead here. Oh, oh, done. Oh my god. Ooh, it gets, it gets away. But there's so many units now. There's so many stalkers. Trap did not make enough units here. Out of this. I wonder if he made some... Uh, but yeah, no, no. Like, that's that's the point where you can basically start to one-shot those. Now, stalkers are kind of running a little bit out of power, but once the overcharge is done, well, then you can come in again, fight again. There's only two void rays. You need to have a second gate with this. You need the second gate. You cannot go only one gate. Void race. Maybe like things like zealots do help in those situations. Weirdly enough, local damage, especially for dogs. But it seems like classic is gonna have the number here. Push through, find all those voids. Another void does show up, but and the Opress micro ship enough to save the world. Static D is. Well, completing now, but yeah, with another round of warp ins, I think, and getting one more void right there. There we go, classic is gonna take game number two here. Three gate robot in. Without any models. And two war prisms. Right, last map is gonna be RQ1 again. For classic map here.
One more. No one in the lead, of course. Game. Up right. Alkimon, it is classic. Bottom left is Trap. And back from the military in his first professional game again. Best of series. Okay. And he's been looking great in game number one. Game number two, it's like he's been lacking a little bit of current meta knowledge. And uh, from BGE Mini, I have heard apparently, I mean, he's basically Trap's fan club waifu and together, right? So he knows every, every piece of it. Again, apparently, Trap during the military period was not really able to play too. So he's kind of starting fresh now. I think he has been out of them or discharged now for like a week. And I'm pretty sure he's been playing some soccer. Kind of getting the gears back on. But yeah, it he, he looks really good actually for someone who hasn't been playing for like one and a half. Already taking maps of people like Classic. That's that's something else. It's really good. And I've got high hopes. Back really swinging again, being a strong force in the scene again. It would be nice to uh, all of the Protoss players looking out for help, for, for leadership. Like a strong trap would be something that finds a new meta. So far it's gonna be the old meta though for Classic. Just gonna be the Robo again and uh, I'm pretty sure he did not scout this. Yeah, didn't scout yet. I'm gonna go ahead now. Scout, but it seems like he's blind countering what Trap is doing. For the second time in a row. Nexus first. Oh, yeah, before Core, of course. He's actually blocking. <laughs> kind of funny. And the Stargate. And it should be Void Race again. Trap, of course, doesn't know. Hey, it's a two gate. I don't see any attacks, so this is highly likely to. I don't know where it is, but it's proxied. And then, yeah. So he wants to see the, the unit. Oh, he's just gonna show it to avoid right So, what this does is he's even gonna wait a little bit with this unit to cancel. So what this um, does for you, this classic is, you do not need a shield battery. Yet. There's no oracle. <clears throat> so that's a very well in invested 25 minerals. No shield battery. Pay 25 minerals, so you have uh, 75 minerals surplus in the calculation, which is half a gateway. So he can make his gateway way fast. Oh, if you can catch those stalkers. Oh, he gets one. Wow, this is already off to a bad start here. Poor trap. He has two void rays now, so he should not die here. And now he has two good batteries. Sometimes I'm like... Hmm, of course, it is, it is a robo, so you don't... You have to... Or prism, you don't have to fight actually for the static deep. I think you could just try to go in it. Elevator up there. And I'm like wondering if it makes sense to watch it cannons. Because they're very powerful. More skirmishes. So. Oh. 
have a few battery up here on the high ground. But there's no adepts going in. But hey, there's a lot of stalkers. He cannot one shot yet, so mm, so far so good here for crap, but I think with the next with the next wave here, he's not really killing any stalkers, so the next wave should come in now we have enough one shot. So all of these shield batteries. Hey, it's cool you have so many, but look at that. Okay, he's barely not one shot. So there was a little bit of a mistake here. I'm gonna kill off this one shield battery. Possibly some ropes right or something. Making so many shields. In the end, if you if you get the one shots, right? Then it doesn't matter how many shield batteries you have. Oh there we go, he's gonna get one more. No. I don't know. There we go. He's trying to get the war prism, which is gonna be ace, but he does lose all of his world rays for them. And lose the last world ray as well. No. Gonna stay alive. Okay, hey. Something, but it feels like it lost more. I, I'm, I'm not sure if the, the War Prism snipe wants to play here. And you buy some time, but you lose three Void Waste, three production cycles from the Stargate. And you're not Chrono Boosting. Now, there we go. War Prism is out again. How many Void Waste? One. I'd rather have like three. You, you probably need to fight the army there, not the Prism. I mean, he was trying to go for pickups and stuff, of course. A micro, eh, 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 eh. Drop PPP. Still, though. By the way, this is, needs to be... Still, though, it feels like having those extra void rays in the fight and prism sacrifice there. Might have been better. There we go, yeah. Classic coming in. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, ropes assassinated as well. Getting one of the void rays, I think. Gonna turn now in the second here, gonna go for the next void ray. The last void ray we did fall indeed. We have one more on the way here, but that the writing's on the wall. With some all ins out. Classic manages to kind of rip through trap. Honestly, trap is looking kind of he's he's been looking good. There's a lot of potential here. Yeah. Uh, Someone who didn't really play for one year and a half. Looking really, really, really solid. Not that finally powering, but probably powering. But now he's pretty dead in this game. Still trying to find he has so many shield batteries up there. By the way, he never got warp gate. Kind of funny. Last immortal and last last couple of units are not gonna make the difference here. GG, well played by Classic.